We want to honor God because He sees everything. You were born with a plan and a purpose. He's the God of all things possible. He's the God of all miracles. to Grace, Grace with Nina Michelle. I'm Michelle Humphreys. And I am Nina Keegan. Welcome to the broadcast today. Today we're gonna to be asking you this question. You know, what side are you gonna choose? What side are you gonna choose? Is it at the, at the end of the day, you know, we're gonna see good, bad, Christ, Antichrist. This is not about, you know, there's such a political divide. There's so many things dividing our country right now in every way. But at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to two things. If you're not with Christ, you're against Christ. And so we're gonna talk very diligently today about what that means to, to when you're allowing basically a spirit of antichrist in by listening or following or doing the wrong things. We, we, it, there's two sides. That's the end of the day. That's all it's gonna come down to. It's not, none of the rest of it's gonna matter at the, at the end. Did you choose Christ? And right now, the Antichrist seems to be, you know, you know winning right now. Yeah. And, and gaining ground. But we all know how the story ends, and we know, all know that, that it, 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 he's gonna end in a burning lake of fire. But how many people is he gonna take with him? Because the Bible says, in the end, many will fall away. We have preached on this before, but it is so in our hearts because that isn't a suggestion. That's not a maybe. That is going to happen. And so you better decide right here and now. It, and you cannot pick and choose what parts of the Bible you're going to believe and stand for. You are in or out. You're all in or, or it, it doesn't matter. You cannot just be on uh, both sides of the fence and think that you're going to get through all this uh, in these end times with, with, with being double-minded and we got to you got to decide you're well, in or out and that's such a great word and when you think about it you know think about our our buddy in the bible Joshua uh one of my favorite other than Jesus of course uh Joshua I, I named my child after him because I just love Joshua and his faith and he said these words through the power of the holy spirit he said choose this day whom yes. you will serve and so who are you going to serve? Mm -hmm. You're either going to serve God or you're not. And, you know, the church and the body of believers, even people who are, you know, good Christians are getting off uh, into a, a place where, you know, they're, they're just maybe watching whatever or, or uh, beginning to do things that they would have never done before. And, and it's beginning to surface because they're, they're kind of falling away. And so you, you need to, if, if that's you, you need to say today, Lord, I am going to heed the words of Joshua that I will choose you this day yes. to, to serve you. And, and you know, it talks about being, the Bible talks about being sanctified and that no man will see God unless they're holy. Are you doing anything in your life that would be considered unsanctified, not, not holy, anything. And, and I think that I don't need to go through a long laundry list of things that you could be doing, but I, I'm just calling it out to, to try to, to, to cause you to reflect, to see where you are with the Lord. And my hope is that you will say today, I'm going to forgetting those things that are behind, laying aside every weight, every sin that, that besets me and I am going to choose today and I'm going to serve you. Yeah. 
You know, uh, this is a scripture that goes right along with that. It's Matthew 10, 32. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I also will confess before my father. This is Jesus speaking in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I also will deny before my father who is in heaven. You know, there's so many people... I think, you know, more so I, you see this in like younger crowds that maybe um, you're, you're, you're in church on the weekends or, or you're coming home from college and you're in church and all that. And then when you go out with your friends, it's like, oh, you know, it's like party and drink and cuss and do what all these things. And it's like, you're these, two people. These are the things. It's like, which one is it? Because God's not tricked and God's not moved. And what is it that's causing you? Like, or do you have this fear that your friends won't, won't like you or whatever? Well, guess what? God will give you a whole new set of friends. That's the thing. You cannot be the, the one who's, who's over there, you know, trying to fit into the whole world. The world will spit you out and throw you away and not care one thing about you. At the end of the day, do you know Jesus? Because that's the only thing that's going to matter. The devil is roaming around like a lion, seeking to whom he can destroy. He's looking for who he can destroy. And, he, if, it, and all you have to do is give him a foothold by saying certain things or acting a certain way because that is a license for him to just pull you away and for to cause you to be so far away from God that sometimes you feel like you can't even get back there. Well, there's good news today because God can forgive you when you repent and turn away from your sins and go back to your first love. Maybe you don't even, maybe you just happen to see the show today and you don't even know the Lord. And at the end of this program, we'll give you an opportunity to know him as well. But you have to, these, it is so very important right now to know that God is for you. So who can dare be against you? And right now you have to know that the Jesus in you is going to irritate the demons in them, in some people. And you cannot care about that. You have to keep going. The Bible says, what does darkness have to do with light? It says, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. If you are single, you cannot go and date somebody who doesn't know and love the Lord. It's never going to work. You will never, God will never allow that to work out. And you are, you are going to get hurt in that process. You know, maybe, maybe that person can get saved and, and, and things can work out later, but not, God's not call. he's saying, what, what are you to do with darkness and light? Don't, don't, that, that's not what, who he's putting together. You know, we have to be so cognitive of these things because it's so crucial. Well, and I, and I do think that, you know, it's so important to, to stand up for Jesus. You know, I, I know like when I was, um, a little older in high school, I began to really have a closer relationship with the Lord. And um, I, I remember being in a concert and they had the lights, you know, like the, 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 lighters. the lighters out, look like hell. And they were acting like hellcats, you know? I mean, it was like evil. It really was. And I was starting to get scared. And I leaned over to my friend who was not saved and I said, if Jesus comes back, do you think he's going to come get me in here? <laughs> I mean, I started choosing sides and she was probably going weirdo, but I don't care. I got to where I just didn't care. And when we get, when we, we're going to come back in just a moment. We're going to talk more about this. The world needs to be reached with the message of Jesus. And that is the mission of Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle to see people's lives change with the saving power of Jesus Christ. When you donate to Grace Grace Ministries, you're also reaching orphans and the underprivileged throughout the world, as well as the United States. The Bible says that when we help the least, the forgotten, and the overlooked, we have done something for Jesus himself. Will you be a part of what God is doing to help those in need and those who are hungering to hear the real message of Jesus? Give today by logging on to ninaandmichelle.com or text the word GIVE to 325-603-3354. You can also send in a check to 6315B FM 1488 Road, number 122, Magnolia, Texas 77354. Grace Grace Ministries is a 501c3 charitable organization. Gifts are tax deductible, so join us in the Great Commission today. Give now. 
Welcome back. You are watching Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle, and we're asking you today to think about this. What side will you choose? Because there's still time, at least we think. You know, we don't know if if Jesus comes back tonight, what side are you going to be on? If Jesus comes back in five minutes, you know, you, right now, this is your moment that you get to choose and you get to decide whose side you're on. We're, we're going to give you that opportunity. We're going to pray that at the end of this program today. But it's something to think about. You, no one guarantees us tomorrow. No one guarantees us another day on this planet. And we don't know. Even Jesus himself does not know when he's coming back. Only his father in heaven knows that day we can look at the signs there's signs that that seem to be pointing that that the time is near and so uh, that that scriptures that we keep saying about in the end many will fall away even the elect will be deceived we don't want you to be those people we have such a burden for souls and that is the going to happen and that just breaks my heart because it doesn't have to happen people need to know the truth the truth is what's going to set them free and you cannot play church you cannot play uh, with your part-time friend jesus you cannot just have him pull him out in church for an hour and then run off to your brunch and the rest of your week is like you're you're living you know just like the world uh, exactly this is isn't, that's not how you do it. Yeah, no one's good. You know, I'll say it all the time and I'll say it again. There's no bigger lie than that word Christian. I don't care. There's people who say I go to church on Christmas and Easter. I'm a Christian. There's no bigger lie than that word because there has to be fruit. Well, and, and the Bible says you'll know them by their fruit. And, you know, there's a there's a scripture where Jesus goes to this to this fig tree and there's no fruit on it, so he curses it. And it says that the ax is already at the root. So you don't know when the ax is going to come. If you're a Christian, you're not bearing fruit. Why aren't you bearing fruit? Right? You have to know that Jesus is truly Lord. He cannot be just something you know about. He has to be the Lord of your life. You should be talking to him. You should be asking him for advice. You should be asking him to reveal what he, what he wants you to do in your life. Jesus is Lord and we are not. And so we wanna make sure that we are on the right side of things and we wanna choose this day, Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. And we're not saying, you know, if you're, if you, when you become a Christian, you know, there's a lot of, especially in the young crowd, they go, oh, it's not fun. And there's all these rules. It's really not like that because you're, you're the, the peace and the love and what you, it's a transformation that you become a new creation in Christ. So those things, you don't think like the world, you don't want to be part of the world. You are a new creation in Christ and you're not going to miss anything. And that is such a lie. Yes. You know what came up on my phone today? Our pictures from six years ago where we were on a mission trip to Africa and because we were there, they had this uh, hot air balloon safari that we got to take and we got to see all these beautiful animals in their natural habitat that we would have never ever seen before and talking about how you know well if you serve Jesus it's going to be terrible it's not going to be any fun whatever it is a great adventure Stephen Curtis Chapman has a song about this is the great adventure because it is the great adventure I highly recommend it not just because you get fire insurance uh, and you get saved from hell, but because Jesus is amazing to serve and you never know what you're going to get to do when you serve the great King. He yes. can do anything. It's so much fun to serve God. I'm not saying it's always fun, but I'm saying, you know what? I have joy. Every day I have joy. I cannot explain it. Even on my worst days, I have joy. How many people can say that? So many people are in despair and I have joy. And it's because, you know what? It's that scripture that's, that, I, you know, Jesus stands on at the door and knocks. And if any man opens the door, he, the Bible says, I will come in and sup with you. But I wanted to do that, but I was scared to do that. But then I heard the scripture that if you're ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. And my shy self got up and said, that's me. I will serve you, God. And I went to the altar and I have never 
been the same. And if you same. if you ever listen to my testimony, you would know that living a life with Jesus is just so worth it. Oh my goodness, right? It's so much fun. It, it, it is, and and uh, you know there. Uh, I'm not going to say that there isn't a certain amount of warfare and things that happen, but let me just say, going through some of the things that I've gone through in my life without God, I could not have imagined it or survived it, I feel, because honestly, it's Him who has brought me through these things that I'm still whole and still standing here and some of the things, and both of our testimonies are uh, over our lifetimes, it has been crazy, but I can't imagine ever have gone going through any of these things. And, and I'm not saying that we're not, right now our family's going through trials. And you know, and even just this past week, we had to put our 15 year old dog to sleep. I mean, there's always things that are very hard and difficult and no matter what you're going through in life, but God is there. and. I can get up and speak and 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 know that 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 it's all going to be okay. Everything God will get you through things. It doesn't. It, it says count it all joy when you go through trials of many kinds, because you're going to go through things. It says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will see you through them all. It, so. Don't think that because you're a Christian that everything is just this bed of roses. It's not because you're in the world. Right. And in the world, you will have tribulation and trouble because, there, because the world is, is an evil, awful place sometimes. But God, when you know that you can run to him, that you have a secure place, that he's there for you, that he will never leave you or forsake you, you can get through anything. You know, God never took away the Red Sea and the situation they were in, but he made a way through it. And God God will make a way through difficult times for you when you have him just grab a hold of his hand, his hem of his, of his garment, and he, he will lead you through all things. So, so I, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? If you haven't called on Jesus, what is, what is, the, what, what is, what is stopping, stopping you? you? Yes. Yeah. You have to ask yourself, what is keeping me from serving Jesus Christ. There is nothing more important than that. You know, the Bible talks about, I read it this week, it talks about how Jesus is gonna come back and it's gonna be like a flash of lightning that goes across the sky. It's that fast, he's gonna come back. Are you gonna be with him? You can decide that today, you can decide that. And when we come back, we're gonna talk to you more about what side are you on are you on the side of God? The world needs to be reached with the message of Jesus. And that is the mission of Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle, to see people's lives change with the saving power of Jesus Christ. When you donate to Grace Grace Ministries, you're also reaching orphans and the underprivileged throughout the world, as well as the United States. The Bible says that when we help the least, the forgotten and the overlooked, we have done something for Jesus himself. Will you be a part of what God is doing to help those in need and those who are hungering to hear the real message of Jesus? Give today by logging on to ninaandmichelle.com or text the word GIVE to 325-603-3354. You can also send in a check to 6315B FM 1488 Road, number 122, Magnolia, Texas 77354. Grace Grace Ministries is a 501c3 charitable organization. Gifts are tax deductible, so join us in the Great Commission today. Give now. Welcome back. You're watching Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. And today, it, this is serious. We are talking about what side will you on? Which side will you choose? And it, this, is, this isn't, you know, uh, something that we want to leave. We want uh, open for debate. We want you to know Jesus Christ. Listen, if we're wrong, if we're wrong about this, which we are, we're not, because every word is truth. And we've seen God do miracles in our lives. We've seen so many things happen and miracles and healings and things happen. And I know we're not wrong, but if we are, what do you have, what do you have to lose? But you have everything to lose by not inviting Jesus into your life. You have everything to lose. Eternity is forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And, and, and there's a pit of hell for those who will not receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I mean, it's so simple. And, and it, it is so simple. I mean, think about it. If you knew how you. bad hell was, 
I, and, and people think, oh, well, that, that, that's not real. Hell, God would never send anybody to hell. That is not true. Hell was not originally planned for, uh, for humans, but it is if you reject Jesus. And it says that, that, that it is for eternity. There is for eternity darkness. There will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It, there is no relief from it. I mean, there are scriptures throughout the Bible that talk about that hell is an address. It is real. And, and God loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish and go to hell, but shall be have eternal life. That's what it says. It shall have, you will have eternal life. But all you have to do is choose which side you're going to be on. And let me just say, there is no man. There is no woman. There is no alcohol. There is no drug. There is no food or sin or anything that would cause you to miss heaven that, that you would put as an idol before God that, that you will want to miss heaven for. Nothing. There's nothing. It, the, the thing is, it's, it's very simple. I mean, you can have uh, spend eternity in heaven with, with your Lord and Savior, with your maker, your creator. He, you know, the soul is always searching and maybe you are filling your life up with, you know, some of these addictions, you know, whether it's a sex addiction, porn addiction, drugs, alcohol, whatever these things are, trying to find peace that you cannot have. Maybe there's things that happened to you that it had nothing to do with you and they were injustice and unfair, but God can settle those things. You can, he can heal your heart. He can take away these addictions. He can and take away these things that that have plagued you and and have sought to destroy your life and the devil doesn't want you to listen to this he doesn't want you to to know Jesus he doesn't want you to believe this he wants you to be stay where you are right here and be broken and deceived and and I'm, we're here to tell you that, that, that Jesus is real and he loves you. He loves you. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. And he can take what the devil has meant for harm in your life and he can use it for good. And he can bless your life and, ca and cause all things to turn around. There's, you know, there's a scripture that says, the day of the Lord is an awesome, terrible thing. Who can possibly survive? That is Joel 2.11. You know, it says the great and mighty day of the Lord Lord. Like, think about it. There's this day is going to come when that's it. You will have already decided a major choice. And then there's going to be, it's going to be too late. There's going to be nothing you can do about it. You know, you said that, you know, God about sending people to hell. God doesn't, God's looking for ways to keep you out of hell. Yes. You, you are, you're, you're already going there. If you don't know Jesus or want Jesus in your life, you're going there on your own. God is looking for a way to get you out. That's why he gave us Jesus. He wants us all to know his son as Lord and Savior so we can be rescued and saved from this the, 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 that day of wrath that's coming. The great day of judgment is coming. Who can survive it? That is a scripture. And so I know myself that, you know, I... I I always want to go, God, are we good? Like, are we right? Like, I don't know. Like, I know. I know where I'm going. I know what, what you know, what, what is in store for me. And my heart just breaks for the people who don't know the Lord. And, and I, I'll even think of weird things like somebody, you, you know, that you see recently died. And you just think, I hope they know the Lord, you know. So do you want to pray, Michelle? And Absolutely. And we want to make sure. Right now, if you have never asked Jesus into your life or if you're walking in sin and you look more like the world than you do a, a Christian, we want you to rededicate your life to the Lord. Yes. Let's, let's start fresh. Even if you have to go get baptized again, you know, or if you've never been baptized, let's, let's right now make it all right. So Lord, right now we come to the mercy seat of Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you that you died on the cross. We believe that you died on the cross. Just pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I love you. 
I call upon you right now to save me from my sins. I thank you that you died on the cross and I believe that, that you rose again and that you're in heaven right now. And that because I ask you into my heart and I believe that you will be my Lord for the rest of my life, I am saved. All things pass away and behold, all things become new. And right now I choose this day who I serve and it is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Lord, right now we ask that you seal them until the day of redemption, God. That Lord, that they will be truly discipled, that their, that their roots will be deep, Lord, and that they will know and learn your word, Lord, and they will walk in the gifts of the Spirit and they will be saved to the uttermost uttermost and that they will live and breathe the Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 That was powerful. We want you to know that once, if you've said this prayer, that get yourself a Bible, get a, a Bible, get a good uh, Christian word, scriptures, anything you can get your hands on, go to a good Bible church that is speaking the word of God, the Bible, the real Bible, and make sure you start getting that word in you. Just start praying, going, you know, get, get, you can get on our um, websites and you can follow our social media. We have so many good devotions that are filled with scriptures. We're happy to pray with you. Even if you need a Bible, you know, get on social media, let us know and we'll send you one. Yes. We want you to have a Bible. You can go to our website and contact us there through, through email. We love you guys. We're praying for you. And we just believe and know that, that if you've made that declaration and said that prayer today, that you are a new creation in Christ and God's going to take care of you. So we love you and we are praying for you. God bless you all. God bless you. Love you. Does science disprove God? Is there a war between science and faith? We don't need God to create a universe. There's no evidence for God, and it's irrational. Is there no evidence for God? Am I delusional for my beliefs? It is delusional and stupid. Am I brainwashed? Do I ignore reason? Logic. Critical thinking. Science. RDOF uses logic and reasoning. RDOF has empowered my sons to defend their faith with facts. If you want to be equipped to defend against the biggest objections to the existence of God, RDOF is the place for you. Has science really ruled out God? Is faith at war with science? If you want to be equipped to respond to these claims and more, check out RDOF.org. The evidence he presents is so powerful and overwhelming. Incredibly compelling, yet easily understandable. We believe in rationality, we believe in reason, we believe in science, and we believe in the existence of God. I would leave every event with a mind-boggling awe and assurance. I never believed in God. I just think it was craziness. RDOF confirmed my faith. RDOF confirmed my uh, full belief, full faith in the Lord, man. The appearance of design in the universe is undeniable. The lights, the crowd, the videos. To book a presentation or watch our free videos, go to rdof.org or find us on Facebook at RDOF Events.